Critical dimension table can be normalized. We will learn normalizing later. So don't get confused about normalization. That is a technical term. We will learn it later. The geography can be divided into north, south, east and west. Stores can be divided into east and west regions. So when we do that, when we connect all these tables, this look like exactly a snowflake. That's why this is known as a snowflake schema. In this snowflake schema, only the sales table is the fact table. All the other surrounding tables are dimension tables. Before when you saw a database, every table arranged according to a subject area. All the production tables are arranged into the production area. All the human resources table arranged into the human resources subject area. All the sales tables arranged into the sales subject area. All the purchase tables arranged into the purchase area. All these different subject areas are known as data mark. So simply a data warehouse is a combination of different data marks. A data warehouse contains number of subject areas or data mark. A data warehouse contains, for example, sales, inventory, production, human resources. These separate subject areas constitute a data mark. A data mark can be of a single star schema or it can be of a snowflake schema. According to the design, it may vary. For your understanding, Consider each data mark in a data warehouse as a star schema. When we combine more star schemas together, that will become a fully functioning data warehouse. Here, a functional segment of an enterprise that is restricted for purpose of security, locality, performance, or business necessity using modeling and information delivery technique identical to data warehouse. Why we are implementing data mark? That increase the performance, increase the security, the availability, and it simplifies the design. These are the main factors that why we implement uh, a, a data mark concept while we design a data warehouse. In broad sense, why we are building a data mark is it will allow the organization to visualize large but focus on small and attendable. If we are not having a data mark concept or subject area con concept, all the tables are scattered across different areas in a data warehouse. So the data in each subject areas are not that visible and a person can't focus on a particular subject area if all the tables are not arranged in a single subject area or data mark. A data mark provides a platform for a rapid delivery of an operating operational system. It minimizes the risk. A corporate data warehouse can be constructed from a union of enterprise data mark. This is what I told you before. A data warehouse contains number of data marks connected together and there are some added advantages by dividing a data warehouse into subject areas or data marts. So how we are going to pull the data from sources and fill it into the data warehouse? There are two concepts which are either we can pull the data directly into the data warehouse thereby pulling the data mart. That means a data warehouse populates the data mart. Here in this figure you can see the data first comes to the data warehouse and while this data warehouse is updated automatically the data marts will get updated. The other concept is the data directly comes into each data mark thereby populating the data warehouse. The data marts populate the data warehouse. These are the main two concepts in populating the data warehouse. Before you saw the basic architecture of a data warehouse. According to the data mart concept, a data warehouse architecture is further divided. These are architecture one shows data directly coming from the source and entering into each data mart thereby populating a data warehouse. This data 
warehouse contains three data marts. The data from different sources comes into the data warehouse because they get into the data mart first thereby populating the data warehouse. In this structure you can see the data from different sources are extracted and transformed and first they goes into the data warehouse thereby populating the each data mart in that data warehouse. In the beginning of this class I told you what is the use of data warehouse. The data warehouse is used for report generation. Why the management needs these reports because they want to study their day-to-day -day business and to make decisions according to the reports. So first we will go and see and study some sample reports then you will get an idea why it is important for an organization to implement a data warehouse. This is a report generator by an OL AP system, online analytical processing system. The system takes data from a data warehouse and it will calculate the sales by each branch. Each branch names are given here. The sales by branch indicates the sales in each branch. Each branch is named here. When we hover over this pie chart on different segments, we can see the highest sale in San Francisco. The total percentage is 42.34% and the sale amount is $332.3. The lowest sale is in this state and the total amount of sale is $72 and seven and the total percentage is 9.19% and when we move over all these different segments we will get what is the total sale and what is the total 